Good morning traders. So how do we trade the DAX today? So just a quick start on the weekly. You can see how we closed above the weekly 20 moving average quite convincingly. We also closed above the previous high. Now the thing is this level that we're at and uh, I mean it's I just want to draw those two lines in. So let's call it a zone that we have got into on the weekly is a fairly strong level okay so you now we're looking for a break through this level and if we can get a break through this level we can expect continuation to the upside um, so from a Bill Williams strategy the alligator is flat and um, there's nothing really to read into the oscillators at the moment so we have had a rally two weeks of consolidation and a rally. So this has been our second move. There was our first move and then second move. So we've had two moves to the upside. The question is now, are we going to consolidate in this area and break to the upside or are we going to reverse off this area? Okay, so is this going to be a yet another higher, sorry, lower high? And uh, you can see that is our trend to the top side. We're also in the middle of the 200 moving average and that's an indication of range bound trading. Okay so on the daily what you can see how we closed off with a doji, a indecision bar, a shooting star, um, whatever you want to call it. Essentially uh, buyers came in, pushed it up, sellers came in, pushed it down and they closed pretty much flat for the day. So that is a sign of indecision and it could also be a a sign that we are tired and we are now looking to go to the bottom of this range. Okay. So, yeah, back to the bottom of this range. Is this going to turn out to be a wedge and we fall down? But that's still some time away. Okay, so uh, let's get to the half hour and start looking at the two strategies we can trade on this today. So, first one is obviously the closing range breakout. So, let's have a look at how that works out. For the DAX, we're looking at bars number 10 and 11. 10 and 11 okay and we're looking for pretty much that okay and you can see the breakout targets was hit okay so we had a, a break up a pullback to test the break and then we moved on to the upside so that played out pretty nicely Okay, now the this is going to be a really small range. Uh, okay, so um, that range played out on Friday. So we've hit the breakout target and target number two. Uh, I don't think there's anything to write home about there. Right, so how are we going to trade this today? So for me, the only way to trade this right now is to see what is going to happen with this break. So we've had a break of the alligator. Okay, we've also got the alligator crossed over. Okay, um, also my slider is below the zero line, but we did close off with the green bar. So. Uh, the trick right now is going to be see what happens at the open. Okay, are we going to continue to the downside or are we going to break back to the upside? So, best way to do it, you can see on the hour that we have broken below the 20 and everything is starting to roll. So, there is a strong possibility that this moves to the downside. We also have a, a wedge break here on the hour. Okay, you can see how we were driving price up, getting narrower, narrower, narrower until we broke the downside. 
ideally for the trend to change, we want to be below um, the jaws, which is the blue line, and we want to see the alligator point at the downside. And that's pretty much on the hour. But you know, as I said last week, if you look at the volatility on the DAX at the moment, the last couple of days, very difficult to, to trade that. So you want to try come down to a 12 minutes or a 30 minutes, 15 minutes, and trade. Basically trade this time frame. Okay. So for me, I'm going to tidy this up. If we just look at the 12 minute. So we've had a, a break to the downside. Okay. So I would expect us, if we do climb up to find some uh, resistance here. And what I also see here is a continuation pattern. Well, I suppose it could be a flat. It could be a flat top triangle. So, but it is a consolidation pattern. If we break to the upside, we expect more a move to the upside to pick up these tails. Okay. If we break the downside, then what we're looking for is a continuation of this downward move, which is going to be something like that. And if I put a level in here. That'll be 12.742. And if we just pick up some levels on the hour, you'll see that it lines up with these inside tails and this breakout here. Okay. And then we also have that breakout level there. Okay. So looking at the hour as well, we've broken below the the 20 moving average. So I do suspect we are going to have some downside move today. And uh, let's just have a look at where the DAX is at the moment. At the moment it's down 0.2%. We're sitting at 12.777. So that is pretty much I'll be on this tail here more than likely. Yeah, 12.777. So we're sitting pretty much at this level here. Okay, so basically what that means is if we open like that and we open below, if we get down below 12.790, uh, you can almost bet your bottom dollar that that level will hold and we will come and test at least this measured move of 12740 before we figure out what's going to happen from there on. Okay, so if you look at the hour, sorry, at the four hour, you can see the measured move lines up with this tail, and then we have a second tail at. Uh, one two seven fifty. So this kind of one two seven fifty area, I would suspect we get some buyers in, but have a look at what our oscillators are telling us on the four hour. Um, we're over, we're extremely overbought at the moment, and we are starting to cross over. So I do expect us to pull back, and the, the big question at the moment is: Is this going to be a a pullback to this level, which is what I expect, and then? I move to the upside, and the reason why I expect that is this is a cup and handle. So you can see here's the cup, here's the handle, and uh, the principle is quite simple. Price tried to to break down, pull back. It tried a second time to create a new low, which failed, and we ended up with a higher low. So we've broken above this. So what you're expecting is a retest of this break before a continuation to the upside. Um, to reach this target of uh, 13,040. And 13,040 is this inside tail here, and there's also a daily gap that is still open up there. Okay, so that kind of um, what I'm looking at today, I, I suspect we have a pullback. 
whether the pullback lasts the whole day or just um, a portion of the day, or maybe for two days or so. But I suspect we're going to pull back and we're going to target firstly 12,790 and then I expect the buyers to come in at 12,750 and 12,745. So anywhere in this area I'll definitely be looking at longs um, and uh, if we do gap below the alligator today which is highly suspect if we're going to do that the alligator should point the downside the first pullback will be a sell and we're going to sell into um, this measured move target of uh, 12,750 to be safe. Okay, so that's my view on the DAX today. Um, alternatively, if we do break, uh, if we do sort of um, break to the upside, and uh, I'm just going to tidy this up here. So the beauty about this right now on the DAX is that is our consolidation range. So whichever way we break above or below this consolidation range. So um, what you're looking at is the fractional levels. And uh, I mean, you could argue that if it breaks below that fractional, but I'm going to be a little bit conservative and say the, this fractional here. Okay, so a break below uh, 12,800 or a break below above uh, 12,830 will give us a direction. And the nice thing is that you can have your stop on either side of this range. So that's kind of the the way I'm going to play this, uh, is really to see what this gap to the downside does, whether we find support down here. Okay. Um, so the question is whether we're going to find support at this level, or if we are going to break above this fractal level here. Okay, now uh, from a Bill Williams perspective, here was our wise man number one. Okay, and I'm using the 12 minute for this. So this pin bar here, um, because there's deviation from the red line, which is our teeth, you can see the angle that we draw this on. There's the general angle of, from the break through the alligator here, draw a line along, the, um, the teeth, okay, and then put another line from the break here down to the top of this pin bar here outside the Bollinger. So that is wise man number one, okay. Wise man number two, so in other words, that was my first entry long, and um, wise man number two was on the third bar, so wise man number two will be, well, you should actually be in on the next one. So wise man number two was a break above this bar here. And the uh, reason for that, no, sorry, it's not. It's the next one. So this red pin bar here, that is the third green bar here. So what I'm looking for is a second entry long, because that's my wise man number two. So break above this fractional will give me my second entry long. Okay, so that's kind of my take on this at the moment. Um, if we do break below this level, I suspect we're going to move to the downside. However, if we do look at the 12 minutes, we could just range here, or alternatively, this could be a turning point for another move to the upside. And um, the bottom line is these fractional levels, whichever fractional breaks, on the 12 minute is going to be the direction for the day that we're going to take. Okay, so that's kind of the, the way I'm taking this today. So I'm looking for breaks above uh, 12,830 and uh, 12, eight, and a break below 12,800 to confirm direction. And uh, on the six minutes, I'll be watching these two areas very closely. Okay, anyway, I hope that helps. And uh, yeah, so long as you are above the alligator, and you can use the six minutes to get started and then switch across the higher time frame to watch what happens on the higher time frame. But so long as we're above the alligator, it'll be long. If you're below the alligator, it's short. And bear in mind, you've got the 200 moving average on the six minute chair, which is also playing a role in what's going on. Okay, so this is our consolidation zone we need to break out. That's basically what it boils down to. Anyway, guys, 
I hope that helps, and I will catch you later. Enjoy the day, stay safe, and uh, see you tomorrow. Goodbye.